my jeans, ayy Your boy a buzzer, no, he can fuck with me, ayy I'm a soldier, keep his ass asleep, ayy What's going on guys? Welcome back for another episode on the Midnight Garage. Sorry, it, it's been a while since I last time I did a video, but here we go. Today we are going to be working on this beast, Nissan R32 Skyline. This is not the GTR, I know, I know, but it will look better than GTR and then maybe perform even like GTR. Except this only real world drive. So yeah, let me just give you a walk walk down first. Um, just explain you what's my plans for this car and what I've done uh, so far. I will I will put a pictures of how it looked before the engine bay. If you've never seen it, you're not gonna know the transformation. Uh, so I'm gonna put the couple of pictures here on the screen so you can see what was looked like before. Uh, so I just I got this car uh, from Florida. I purchased from Florida. Maybe I I, I didn't even drove it for a week. Not not even be honest, because I have family living there. So I left the car for a couple months there, and then bring it to Chicago. Literally two days later, I took it apart. First I was like, okay, let me just clean the front. I removed the bumper, headlights, and everything. Start cleaning, and two hours later, I was pulling the engine. <laughs> All right, hopefully you can see better. Uh, so I put the lightning so we can see better. So as you can see, um, so I have a Garrett 2871. Uh, so it's gonna be pushing around 400 horsepower. So I basically removed all the hard lines on this thing. So no hard line, all of them Brady lines. As you can see, bull, uh, bull stock from Australia. We got heated cool lines. Brady lines, we got um, uh, zero fab front, ma uh, front facing uh, intake manifold with the R35 GTR injectors. We got R35 GTR uh, coil plugs. Uh, we got, uh, like I say, a Garrett, and I, I forgot the name of the uh, exhaust manifold, but yeah, it looks clean, looks good. I have fully custom uh, power steering, we got a uh, better pump, hike is delete, I got a uh, power steering uh, radiator right there, cooler, um, I got GK Tech uh, wind, uh, window washer, I mean coolant uh, overflow tank, I love it, they, they came out with, uh, uh, with this like literally maybe three months ago I'm so hype on that so I don't have to get anything custom and then we got um, Chase Base uh, Brake Booster Delete we got OEM I think that's the S14 Clutch Master so um, I, thought I had an R32 OEM but the, uh, but the plug it was right here and it was hitting the manifold so I had to get S14 the side way so I have uh, some room. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. I got uh, oil filter relocated right there, which is good, convenient. I put on the bottom. Um, I got Mishimoto uh, intercooler. I have a Coil Rad radiator with the Mishimoto dual E fan. Um, all the all the belts brand new all the gaskets are brand new no new head gasket all literally uh the head was uh cleaned the machine at the machine shop i got the wastegate right there and right now i'm doing the wiring so i'm literally extending all the wires because i'm doing wire tacking uh so i have to do a uh, uh, a lot of work right now i i am doing the uh, injector plugs there you go, I did only so far one. And I'm gonna do the five more here. I got HKS uh, electronic boost controller. I have OEM GTR bumper, brand new from uh, Nissan. I have a uh, uh, OEM GTR front, uh, front fenders and the side markers. I have carbon fiber cooling plate. Uh, so far what I have to do is 
uh, downpipe, make a custom downpipe, uh, intercooler piping. I need the ECU and then tune it, and pretty much that's it. Let's walk around. Uh, both front and rear subframes were dropped, cleaned, repainted, all the everything was basically brand new. I have a 370Z uh, Big Bird kit uh, on the front, same thing on the back, all of them paint matched as you can see this thing was white so all of them was paint match did that and then we have the uh, over frienders basically uh things 20 mil wider it's good uh okay we come to the trunk as you can see i paint the truck same color as the engine bay and then I have a, a uh, I put the Alcantara on this thing, so it looks modern, new. I have Imperial brand new uh, floor mats, which is for the trunk, and then this is the for front and rear. And then I'm doing the battery relocation right now. So this is the positive wire. I got the ground. This thing is steady, good. I don't want to make any hole, so I use the existing hole. I have a circuit breaker here. So that thing is almost finished. <sighs> Let me show you from further away. Looks good. And then it's gonna go get paint. Full paint job. I have a brand new windshield OEM from Japan all the way. I have all the moldings brand new. I have a GTR wing. I have a, a rear diffuser. I need to get a new hood because this thing is freaking heavy. Uh, basically, pretty much that's it. Uh, this car basically getting transformed. Basically, it's gonna be like a brand new car. Uh, so today, what we're gonna do is we are gonna be working on the wiring. Uh, I'm gonna finish. Uh, I'm gonna finish uh, finishing up. The, I'm, so I'm gonna finish wiring uh, for the injectors. Uh, basically, putting new sleeves. Basically, all of them got new sleeves. I'm gonna put all of them brand new sleeves, uh, and then a couple of wires needs to be extended, uh, like MAF sensor, uh, all the AC wires. I have a bunch of wires there, so I'm gonna basically remove the intercooler, basically everything, and then I'm gonna tuck the wires nicely. Also, we have to make a uh, fuse box cover, basically. Uh, I want to make a box for the fuse box, so we're gonna hide it here uh, because I don't want to have it there. So too much wire. So I'm gonna make a, a little box right there. It's gonna be waterproof, so we're gonna put that there. Um, so yeah, let's get to work. Sorry about my mess. Uh, this is attached to the car. I don't want to take it out. That's why I um, have to do this. So basically, if you're doing this first time. Um, First of all, you need a solar gun, and then you need uh, the rod, and uh, so basically what you're going to do, first you have to feed uh, to the solder gun first, so it's going to have a little bit of a melted aluminium, and then you put it from the bottom, well, you can see, you have to put the solder, rod, uh, solder gun on the bottom, and then uh, you wait maybe five seconds, gonna heat up the wires, and then you uh, feed it from the top. So it's gonna be evenly like this. Once you've done it, you have to uh, close the wire so it doesn't touch each other and then uh, make it uh, fire basically, or get your fuse. So basically what I did, I had to put the uh, shrinking tube before I soldered the wires because once you put uh, solder them together, there's no way uh, you have you can do it. So only electrical tape. So there you go. I put on top. Uh, uh, but before that, I also put the uh, the sleeve before. Like I said, once you put it, there's no way you're gonna be able to do it. And this thing is really really useful. Uh, otherwise you're gonna have a hard time holding uh, basically two wires plus soldering gun plus the feeder so and then you just heat it up yeah. 
So now it's protected up there, and then you take this one out, and then, uh, oh shoot, so you have to wait, you have to wait, cool it down a little bit because I have another shrinking tube here, um, it's basically start shrinking because it's hot still right here, so you have to cool it down a little bit, so I'm gonna, alright. Uh, I couldn't do it uh, holding the camera, so there you go. Uh, this one is injector three is done. So uh, this is one. I should have put the middle one two. This is a uh, injector one two three is finished, and I have a uh, uh, four five six up here. It's separate wire. It basically connects with that connector. I don't know why they did that. So um, basically, I'm the one working on this. So we're gonna do this uh, once finished with the injector four, five, six, and then I wanna put sleeves on these, and then basically that's it. And then put the uh, big sleeve on the whole harness and uh, engine side harness is finished. Basically. All this, as you can see, has a nice sleeving. So these are finished. This is for coil pack, uh, knock sensors, uh, injectors, and then we get a, a throttle body on the front. Uh, so yeah, basically, once we finish with this, uh, finish with this wire, then we can start putting the wires there. Like basically run, running the wires. So uh, one side of the wires is going to be finished. And then we're going to work on the uh, the fuse box wires. So basically all the wires coming from the fuse box. Going all the way around the car. Uh, which is the wires. It's going to be for the MAF sensor. For the AC. Uh, AC uh, basically AC sensors. Uh, what else? Uh, basically headlight wires, uh, radiator fan wires, basically switch, um, it goes all around here, there you go, you can see, there you go, and uh, so basically I'm putting bracket here, so I have to remove this and then run it, so yeah, let me go ahead and put you guys on the time lapse, let me finish with this wiring, and then we'll work on this one, so yeah. Fuck with me, ayy I'm a soldier, keep his ass asleep, ayy